First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Well, it is still raining in southern Arizona. Might not be raining at your house, but we still have reports of light showers at Tucson's airport across far southeast Pinal County, eastern Santa Cruz, and then scattered showers up through Graham, Greenlee, and Cochise counties. Now, behind this mess of rain, we are tracking some clear skies, but Sometimes you got to take a step back and look at the bigger picture to see what's on the way. Sometimes you can just get a little too close in, and that could fool you sometimes. We do have this area of clear skies that will move through over the next few hours, but then beyond that, another band of rain. That is why we're holding on to that 30% chance for rain yet tonight and early morning tomorrow, even for the Tucson metro area. Now, our winter weather advisory that's impacting northern Graham and Greenlee counties, you might think, well, there's nothing going on there. Why is that still posted? This is snow that is just south of Flagstaff, the blue there, and then the purple is the rain changing over to snow. So still the potential of seeing this snow and sort of rain, snow, sleet mix to move through Graham and Greenlee counties tonight. So this winter weather advisory, and we're taking this quite seriously for northern Graham and northern Greenlee counties, has been posted through basically the rest of the evening through 11 o'clock tonight. Now stay tuned because we'll extend, we'll let you know if that does get extended. I have a feeling that it will be extended through the early morning hours on Tuesday. But some areas above 6,000 feet seeing up to seven inches worth of brand new snow for the White Mountains, the Catalinas, even the Rincons. So a look at our temperatures here across the area. Yes, they've been fairly chilly today. Our temp was actually lower than this 49 degrees. It's come up just a bit and now it's going to drop back down. So still 49 at Tucson's airport, upper 40s here for Wilcox, mid 40s in Douglas, 43 at this hour in Sierra Vista. But look at what will happen the rest of the night. So over the next two hours, our temps will drop just a few degrees with 46 degrees at 7 o'clock at the airport. 30% chance for rain taking us through 9 with 45. And then we drop off to 40 degrees come 11 o'clock with that rain chance dwindling to 20%. So not a huge impact on our temperatures until we get to tomorrow morning. That is when our lows will be in the 20s for most of southern Arizona. Tucson's low though at 34. Oro Valley you'll be at 32. 27 for Benson. 30 Douglas. 30 for Bisbee. Now tomorrow we will start to warm up a touch. We'll be in the 40s then as well. 49 for Tucson. 49 Douglas. 46 your high Sierra Vista. Benson you'll be dealing with the 40s as well as some wind. 50 degrees for Oral Valley, 55 cells, and Gila Bend topping out at a mere 57. But just when you thought you weren't going to have to use the heat beyond tomorrow afternoon, check this out. Our lows tomorrow, yes, still cold, sub-freezing in most cases, like Vail at 30 degrees, the same for Douglas. But then check out these temperatures come Wednesday. Oh my, we'll be in the 20s here for Sierra Vista. 21 for Douglas, Wilcox at 22. So you know the drill by now. Make sure those pipes are still covered. Make sure the pets are indoors and the sensitive plants either brought inside or covered up. For those of you who are wanting a warm up, it does await you this weekend. High pressure moves back in, and that is when we see our temperatures rebounding. Although it's going to be a steady warm up, we'll go from 49 Tuesday, 60 ish. 61 Wednesday to almost 70 Thursday and then low 70s through our weekend. So looking pretty good. Yeah, not as bad. As the temperatures are concerned. I guess the higher elevations are getting some of that snow that they need and that we like when there's some runoff. And, you know, it should mention as well mm -hmm. that Catalina Highway is starting to ice up a bit. Oh, okay. Our temperatures had gotten so warm, the snow melting there right. on the mountain. Making it now, icy. Yeah, now the temps are coming down again, so then that's refreezing. But they have not closed Catalina Highway last we hear. You can always call that number, 547-7510. Correct. To check for conditions. Correct. All right, Erin, thanks so much. Hey, if you use